Well, hello, hello, hello. Look at that beautiful sunshine. Yeah, the sun's just about to go down. I can't believe the day is almost over and I have not yet wished Daryl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daryl. That's what we two, these two chickies are doing. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I, ha I feel so empowered. I feel so good. There we go. We're back. We're back. We don't have, you don't have to put up with our singing again. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. We're back. Um, <laughs> no, as I was saying that I feel so amazing that, honestly, I, I don't think I've ever felt, felt this good in my whole life. Like, it's just exciting. You haven't felt this good in your right? life. <laughs> yes, I have more muscle and tone, that's for sure, from doing all the non-surgical. <laughs> all those squats, it's been amazing. <clears throat> yes. Yep. What do you got to say, Lori? Well, I, uh, I had the good fortune to actually have a, a lifelong friend come today along with me to, to Barry to get uh, some salsonic treatments. And um, she, uh, we're already, actually, I, t I took the advantage of my opportunity to, to have a little treatment myself. And uh, I, I already feel this little bump that I've been carrying around for, oh my goodness, has it ever gone? down like probably and I'm not kidding I've just felt it as I'm talking and it's like probably gone down 70% and that pre treatment was maybe an hour and a half ago and I'm definitely the pain's better so anyway um, yeah I, I'm I, I'm also feeling the same as Shalu very very thankful and grateful to have um, found a I guess a, a practice and a, a life purpose that uh, makes me feel like I have the opportunity to heal myself every time something goes wrong and when I can't do it myself I happen to be fortunate enough to live very near a practitioner who has the equipment to help me do it so yeah you know would you believe I just had um, I'm at the restaurant as you can see you know we have our community meetings every Wednesday night so here I am um, the server comes and goes, oh, um, they want to speak to the owner. So I'm like, okay. I go over. And you know what the lady says to me? She goes, um, we want to talk to you because my friend comes here all the time. And um, we have an 18-year-old daughter. And she's thinking of going into medicine. Will you talk to her, please? <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, wow. oh, my God. Yes, of course. <laughs> so I was sharing my story with them how never in a million years did I think that this is what I would be doing. I thought I was destined to just open more restaurants, you know? And it's so funny, like it's, it's never too late to reinvent yourself. It's never too late to start living your passion and your purpose. It, it's never too late to turn whatever condition you're in around. It all starts with thought. It all starts with a what's up here. Idea. Exactly. So be very mindful. What are you thinking? What are you putting your energy to? How are you, love? <laughs> right? What are you putting your energy to? What is it that you want? Yeah. And, and you know, again, I've said this before. When I ask people, what do you want? You know what they tell me? Well, I don't want this and I don't want that, but they have no concept of what they want. So please take some time because right now we're in the lion portal. Yeah, the lion portal. We're in the exactly. lion's portal. Now yeah. is the time to manifest and to speak into exactly what you want. So don't waste it. Take the time. Spend some time thinking yeah. of what truly turns your crank. What just excites you, scares you a little, but excites you to no end. Because that's where your passion lies. That's where you need to be putting your energy and intention into. Right? Mm -hmm. Not the daily grind of all oh, go in and you just, you know, sell your time for a paycheck. You got to get out and get into nature and get yourself grounded and put your feet in the grass. And um, I, I, like the, I like the idea that every day to challenge yourself to do something that you never wanted to do or don't make yourself do. Get up and make yourself do it. It gets harder and harder, they think, they say, as you age to motivate yourself. So... It's kind of like that one expression, you know, like when one effort begets another. And it is very true. The less you do, the less you're capable of doing. The more you do, the more you're capable of doing. So just start like baby steps and yeah. know that you've got everything you need to heal, both um, from the emotional and from physical injuries that we've had um, as we've come through life. So it's wonderful to kind of be reborn. I call the child, the child within that has been kind of reborn in me in the last few years. And... Uh, yeah, it's an exciting thing, and don't ever, don't ever lose hope, or don't ever lose faith that um, you too can find a way to feel healthy and well and blissful again. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time and effort, and your effort 
uh, to love yourself, love on yourself, and uh, know that there's some guidance out there for it. Yes, and you know, the, the, right after I was talking, actually, while I was talking to this couple, my phone goes off because all day I've been getting these texts from this beautiful young lady going, I need to talk to you, I need to talk to you, I have a story for you. And it turns out she was in my restaurant two years ago when I took my stand and kept it open through the lockdown, and she sent me a picture of what she looked like then and what she looks like now. And oh my God, talk about a health healing journey. She's totally transformed her body. I mean, she was beautiful then, but she's fantastic and so much healthier now. And she's like, I think I wanna take the healing circle. So, you know, if any of you are thinking mm -hmm. of doing Laurie and I yeah. are going to be hosting the Healing Circle in November, and we would love to be a part of your healing journey. Honestly, like, I mean, you know, we both started our journey together without we, even knowing without, it. Yeah, exactly. You know, we both left Barry, we both got on two different planes, and we both ended up in <laughs> Kelowna without yeah, knowing we were time. both going there That's right. at the same time. Synchronistic. And it was just amazing. So yeah. if you are looking to figure out what your chokeholds are figure out what's holding you back you know if you want to take that leap forward then give us a call you yeah. can call me at 705-828-2257 or you can call Lori at uh, area code 416-587-3954 yes we'd love to have you uh, join us and uh, like again become friends with yourself in a loving compassionate way and also make new friends who are going to help guide you along your journey amazing friends that you know what it doesn't matter any time of day yeah. when it is they always answer the phone and they're there for you yeah. honestly Beautiful it's, it's amazing yeah. it is yeah. and um so the course will be the end of november november 23rd to 26th 26. and i know a lot of people are concerned about um you know well where am i going to stay and all this and that well you know what mm. Um, we're, we're going to try and make it as easy. We're going to try and find an Airbnb, depending on the number of people looking, and then you guys can decide, right? We'll present the options, and then you guys uh, take it from there. Yeah. But honestly, it's going to be an amazing, amazing time. So go to BraveheartNation.com and check it out, or give us a call. And as for the rest of you, have a beautiful day. And Daryl, have the best, best birthday, birthday ever. ever. Love you guys. Mwah.